Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are at Teki Square today at Amokyo Avenue 10 to try these foods. Like this, this, also this, and this, and definitely this. So let's get to it, let's eat! I'm sure you guys recognize this place by now. This is Amokyo MRT station and this is how to get there. So once you get out the gantry, head straight and then when you see the escalator, turn right and go down. Go down, follow the escalator down. Down. And when you reach the bottom escalator, Follow the tunnels and zigzag through all the uh, people who are trying to give out flyers and stuff until you reach the end of the tunnel. Which, if you don't know by now, this is exit C. Okay, so we're gonna head towards the bus interchange to take a bus. Okay. Go all the way up and at the top. Ta da! This is the bus interchange. Yes, you've seen this before many times, but we're in Amokyo. How else are we going to get to the food in the heartlands of Singapore? By taking the bus, and the bus we're taking today is 261. So, Get in line and wait for the bus. And this is the bus stop you get off from. This bus stop is the fourth bus stop from the bus interchange. And this is one bus stop away from Chongbun Food Center. As you would remember from the previous uh, videos. Anyway, so when you get down, you continue walking down the street and head towards the traffic light pedestrian crossing okay. at the pedestrian crossing you turn right and wait to cross the road because directly opposite the road here which is Amokyo Avenue 10 is the food center it's at block 409 Amokyo Avenue 10 and behind the food center is the market itself and here it is the food center so we're gonna go in there we're gonna go and look for food we're going to eat some food and we are going to get satisfied and happy eating it the first shop we are going to is this shop here that sells noodles called Sang Yuan Gourmet basically it sells uh, bak chor mee and laksa but for me I took the bak chor mee Bak chor mee is basically flat egg noodles cooked together with a variety of minced meat, fish balls, some liver, and then with a chili sauce. And this particular uh, noodles itself has uh, deep fried anchovies on top. And the chili sauce is actually a nice mixture of chili sauce and tomato ketchup. Okay. Basically, when you come here, uh, this stall itself doesn't have a queue But um, this bowl of noodles, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, cost me $3 And this is the small portion of noodles And this noodles is actually not too bad, quite delicious um, Portion is a bit small, but it is after all the small portion the mixture of the chili and tomato ketchup is um, quite nice. This is another shop on the same row itself. This shop sells uh, fish ball noodles. And this shop, there is a queue. Even though the other shop itself uh, has no queue. And this is the noodles itself. 
this shop for three dollars. Um, the portion size I got was bigger one. If you pay two fifty, you get the smaller one. So I was thinking a uh, price comparison. So here, I guess the queue is longer because um, the price is more affordable. And this one, there's lots of vegetables in it. You see, there's cabbage, there's bean sprouts. Okay, and then it's, it comes with a chili sauce itself no tomato ketchup in it so this one is a more traditional taste of the noodles the noodles itself was actually quite okay the chili sauce is not too bad only and then the fish ball is nice and springy and big overall I don't think you can compare the two is because of the chili sauce or the sauce itself. This one is more of a traditional style. The other one is more of a more modern style in the in the taste in the flavoring. But overall, this one is also not too bad a uh, noodle dish. Next up is a sliced fish store. As you can see, this one also has a long queue and you can see right in front of the store there's a big fridge where you can see uh, the fish that they actually slice up. Anyway, this is the bowl of fish itself. Oh, forgot the name of the shop is called a Hanjin Fish Soup. Yep, and so this is the fish soup itself. Basically, you, they, they give you nice pieces of fish together with some vegetables, uh, some uh, tomatoes, I think this is some parsley, some seaweed, uh, tofu. Overall, when you eat this dish, of course, when you drink the soup, you get the strong parsley taste, but after a few uh, spoonfuls, you can actually taste the nice flavor of the soup itself and they also give you some quite big pieces of fish so overall a very good uh, fish soup and quite yummy in the same row itself there's another shop with also a long queue which is called Long Sing Fish Soup and as you can see uh, fish soup it's a very popular dish in Singapore and this is the fish soup itself as you can see the fish basic ingredients are the same there is tofu, there is uh, tomato, there is cabbage only thing this one is they don't really have parsley but they give you more of chives and slices of fish the fish they use in both shops are actually in Singapore but they call it batang fish or I think mac or it's, a, it's a kind of mackerel and so basically it's sliced thinly and you put it into the hot soup and the soup itself will cook the fish so this for you to have to eat fish like that the fish itself has to be super fresh and both shops fish is super fresh and both soups are very tasty very flavorful i think they cook it together with maybe some ikan bilis and maybe also with the fish bones very flavorful very nice very yummy both of them okay just to eat something different this shop is called Shi Xian basically the shop just closed and they have been selling since uh, the morning early morning they sell mee rebus and mee siam and this is mee rebus uh, you can basically call it a Chinese style Basically, the, the soup or the broth itself is very typical of the Malay, Malay style but they add in a lot of different um, toppings like here they add in uh, chives, they add in I think deep fried I mean, shallots they put a, to a tomato in there which normally you won't see in um, Malay uh, mee rebus here the mee rebus itself is nice and smooth uh, this is a small portion okay. and 
actually it's a damn good um, meal boost. It was it is was very tasty, and the noodles itself was a bit soft, but. Uh, that's what you expect from a meal repos. You know, you're not really uh, bothered about the springiness of the noodles. And they actually did the meal repos quite well here. So they do run out. So if you do come here, especially the Mi Siam, they actually finish faster than the meal repos. Okay, so remember, we are at Tech Yi Square. I compared two uh, noodles dish two fish soup dish and review a mirabos dish i hope you enjoyed the food the food here is not too bad which i was quite surprised because in you have chun bun and then one bus stop later you have Tegi square market both of them with lots of good food anyway i hope you enjoyed my trip here like as per normal like share and subscribe and the most important thing, don't forget to join me for my next food adventure. Bye bye!